Hey guys, it's Way back with another review for y'all today, and today I have, bam, I am excited. Yes, I have the Lego Star Wars, finally the AAT Armored Assault Tank, set number 75283, 286 pieces, ages 7 and up, and 4 minifigures. So I am very excited for this set, I am definitely ready to get into it, obviously as you can tell I already, kind of already built, uh, opened it, I got too excited, but... I'm definitely ready to get into this. Um, I'm also ready to play this uh, Lego Star Wars Saga, uh, Skywalker Saga. It's been a while. The, uh, I've heard some news about it, but hopefully it comes out this year. So I'm definitely hoping for that. But uh, just here, just showing a few features with the little uh, cockpit right, uh, right there. And then the uh, droid uh, reloading the, um, I guess, spring-loaded launcher. But uh, yeah, uh, enough talk. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, and we are back. So it was not that hard of a build. It was actually pretty simple. I have two of these sets, so I still have to build the other one. Um, you can definitely look uh, to uh, get my second Ahsoka that I get with the other set. I might keep it, but I might give it away. Uh, whichever the two, I'll definitely let y'all know with time. But I'm definitely excited. Not only I'm more excited um, that we got our battle droids back. Um, it's been a while since we've gotten them in the sets. But we also got the new uh, Star Wars of Clone Wars uh soka minifigure and the 332nd company clone trooper so i'm definitely excited so let's start with the actual the 332nd company lego trooper or the ahsoka trooper you can say um i love the 501st kind of detailing they have on the torso and also on the leg printing um they're also uh, upgrading the lego lego has been upgrading on their decals um and their printing so i'm definitely glad they're actually adding uh printing to their boots um and you also got the back uh printing too and of course, my favorite, the helmet printing. Um, that's why I got two of these, because I'm really excited for these. And then you got the new LEGO Clone Trooper phase, which I will never get sick of, because it's so accurate. Um, for years, we've had that weird uh, uh, Clone Wars um, face that they've been giving us. So I'm glad that they did a change and finally hurt us. Then you got Ahsoka in all her glory with the double uh, lightsabers. Um, let me take these off. Put them right there. And then you got her uh, torso printing. Let me take off her headpiece. If I can. Okay. So that's, I took off her headpiece. That's going to be her torso printing, her belt printing, and her leg printing. Um, I'm definitely, got, definitely glad we got her new uh, her uh, new outfit. It's definitely a great outfit, to be honest. Um, that's her back printing right there. Uh, you also got a double-sided face, obviously, as you can tell. So uh, I'm excited for that, too. And then her... Uh, new headpiece it's definitely a great mold i'm definitely that they came out with it um it's a great minifigure overall completely um i'm definitely glad that i got two of them um i might get rid of one who knows might not but i remember when the uh lego soka minifigure came out for when the star wars rebels show actually introduced her again into the series um and that minifigure was going for like a hundred dollars i think two hundred dollars almost depending on who you're getting it from and now that we have that minifigure hopefully it goes down in pricing so i'm definitely hoping so then you got the new uh better droid i guess it's not anything new as far as the build um but it is new uh printing on them um especially on the the head right there and then you got the same green on their torso um you also got like i guess this almost darkish gun metal kind of uh gray towards the new blasters that's a pretty cool i noticed that the other day it's a pretty cool uh detail um and you're actually wondering where the other one is it's gonna be he's gonna be in here in this compartment let me twist that around and then this compartment actually opens up and then he is in there yeah so i'm just gonna take him out for now <clears throat> as far as the set it's a very really good set <clears throat> i actually like the new the uh, kind of design that they're going for for the aa80 um it's a very simple design it's not anything too crazy um as far as articulation um this goes up and down it doesn't do a whole th uh whole it's not attached to a ball joint um but the good thing about this is that this does a whole 360 view so it doesn't matter if it, this actually just goes up and down it's perfect because it could go full 360. um and like i said this cockpit actually opens up um you also got some uh actual printed on pieces in there for a screen 
some targeting uh, screens and some and there's another one right there um these two were actual stickers right here um so like those are only two stickers in the whole set which is pretty cool and then you also had the spring-loaded uh firing right here if you can find it you just press down there and and it fires um there it brings an extra one i know that for a fact um so like it's pretty cool that you get an extra one in case you lose the one that you already uh have um i don't know why i did that the easier way to do it instead of doing it like that you can just press this little lever this little technic piece that you see here and it does it too i don't know why i did it the other way <laughs> but yeah uh great set overall definitely uh worth the money it, the price that i paid came out to 32 dollars um for it it's uh definitely not a not like the biggest sale in the world but it is a decent sale as far as when it comes to uh, uh this set so like i'm glad um originally it retails for 40 bucks uh us dollars i don't know how it is overseas so it was definitely a good price uh, i did price match you could definitely price match if you go to target they do price match to, uh, walmart and they also price match at amazon um i did that for the same thing for my 501st uh, legion pa uh, packs so uh yeah great set overall i love the minifigures i love the joys i love the whole build um definitely looking forward to uh, using these in my box and on future projects and i'm definitely using, glad to use them in my stop motions so definitely 10 out of 10 automatically i definitely would recommend it so uh yeah this has been sway with a review for y'all today like comment and subscribe because join the family and because why not I got so much content that I can keep you busy for a week. Maybe two weeks. Maybe. If you don't get bored of me. <laughs> but yeah, definitely I will see y'all in the next video.